Hey everyone, this is Mega400 here with Let's Play Yoshi Story, the final episode and the credits. Now this song that's coming up is really just beautiful. It's it's slow, it's simple, and yet it's so emotional sounding. Happy end, it's a happy end. So that's the end of the book, that's the end of the game, and this is the end of the Let's Play. It's been enjoyable, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is one of my, probably one of my favorite projects, it's probably up there with doing Minish Cap, and I really enjoyed World Land 2. This is probably one, probably up there as one being one of my favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I did this again sim at the same time as a uh, Kid Icarus, uh, which again, in contrast, like it, it was kind of interesting project projects. Like Yoshi's Story was very cute and uh, stuff, and Kid Icarus was not really cute, but eh, this is a really good game. Um, it's been a fun project doing both of them actually. Uh, so. Um, yeah, I just overall enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy my next project on Monday, which will be a replay. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. I wasn't. I'm really looking forward to doing this game again. Um, I wasn't like when I first thought about doing it, but quite a bit now. Uh, I'm really looking forward. To it. Anyway, lot check. That's gotta be a really odd name to have. Or wait, no, maybe it's not lot. Maybe it's a, a position. Like you're checking the like uh, parking lot. I, I'm yeah. That, I'm assuming. Because, though there are some odd names out there, so there's my uh, whole uh, score list. Bacon was number one, then Mega, Nega, then Mega, then Sega, and Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you're... Anyway, let's do some extras. First extra, language. We can turn it to Japanese, and it's Japanese. I think it's turning Japanese. I think it's turning Japanese. I really think so. I don't know why I showed you that. I just found that cool. The Japanese text does look pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, here's practice mode. Practice mode is basically just testing out the game. I really see no use to playing. You can also change the Yoshi color some uh, using a code. Uh, again, it's in my opinion it's pretty pointless. Pressing start allows you to just exit practice. So here's trial mode. Uh, trial mode. Um, trial mode. And now I've unlocked. Before I didn't have those last two on page six, the magma and ghost castle, because I didn't. You had to beat the levels in story in order to unlock them in trial mode. Basically. Uh, you can play a level and get a, a uh, just play just that level, get a score for that level. Um, it's essentially doing story mode, but just per level. Um, it's 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 a neat thing. Um, the songs are interesting. Now here's an interesting thing. If you listen to this, and I'm going to show you. Obviously, that's why I'm still playing it. Um, if you listen to the song eight times, the uh, trauma mode theme, you'll get Totaka song. Now, Totaka uh, uh, Kazumi Totaka. Uh, is famous for having a song hidden in almost all of the games he's worked on. Uh, he's uh, has one in Animal Crossing. Obviously, it's really easy because it's KK's theme. Um, he has in Mario Paint, which is the first place it was noticed, but it's actually the first game was X, which is a Japanese game. Uh, then uh, Mario Paint, it's like you had to click on the letters, I think, to hear it. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, it's on the I think the pause menu, I think, or maybe the instruction menu, I don't know. Here is where it is in Yoshi's Story. It's also in Touch and Go, it's in Virtual Boy Warrior Land, it's in Super Mario Land 2, it's in Pikmin 2, uh, it's in Mario Artist Talent Studio, which is a Japanese-only uh, Mario Paint type thing. It's in Link's Awakening and the DX version, it's in, uh, for, f I think, uh, it's a Japanese-only game, uh, for Frogs, the Bell Bell's Hole is the English name, uh, and that game is... The character Richard in there is actually uh, referenced in Link's Awakening. But, uh, yeah, there's other games that he's worked on that, were, that people are looking for the song and they can't find it, but it's hidden. It's a short little melody that's hidden in every uh, game he's worked on musically, or a majority of the games. And I just find that kind of cool. It's like leaving your mark, and it's almost become a kind of a thing trying to find the songs that Taka has made. Uh, the easiest is obviously uh, Animal Crossing, but Mario Paint in terms of it being hidden, because uh, Animal Crossing is not really hidden. So here it's going to play now. So yeah, that's a pretty cool little theme. Um, it's a little easter egg in a lot of the games he's worked on. Uh, so, uh, this is, so trial mode, you have Yoshi, you can play it, you can select your Yoshi, and it's basically, it's basically just doing the levels, getting a score for that level. So, it's pretty cool. But that's really all the time I have, so thank you for watching Yoshi's Story. Uh, this is Ghost Castle, I hate this level, and this has been Mega400 reminding you that I hate this level, and Yoshi's Story is awesome.